Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte, I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is FaceTime hijinks. Before we start, I'm sorry there hasn't been a video for a while. Last week, I was at an all-week off-site meeting, and on top of that, we were using our camera equipment, which still hasn't come back from that particular meeting. So I apologize if the audio in this particular video is not great. Not to mention, I made the mistake of wearing a green shirt with my green screen behind me. So if I don't look that great right now, I apologize for that. In any case, let's get to our story. Late last week, we heard news that there's a new vulnerability in FaceTime that could inadvertently expose your mic and video uh, when you weren't expecting it. Essentially, FaceTime has a newish feature that allows for group video chat, where you can actually talk to many different people at once using the FaceTime video feature. However, it's kind of unclear who found it first, but it was either a mom that found it last week or maybe a teenager about a month ago, but a number of people reported a flaw in this group uh, FaceTime capability. Basically, when you're starting one of these group messages, it's possible to actually hear your recipient's mic and maybe even see their video before they've technically accepted the call, when they're unaware that they're on audio and camera. So a pretty big privacy violation. Now the good news is Apple has disabled the group messaging capability in FaceTime temporarily. So right now you're not vulnerable to this until they fix it. Of course, they are going to fix it and then re-enable the group messaging. However, it's kind of opened up the possibility to journalists that FaceTime may have had vulnerabilities like this in the past. So how much are you really giving away by having a, a mobile phone that has a mic and a video camera that could always be on if something like Facebook suffers from a vulnerability? And by the way, you might remember last uh, week's Apple Patch Day, where they fixed vulnerabilities in iOS, including a pretty significant FaceTime flaw, which is not associated with this one. Anyways, if you're an Apple user, you should probably be aware of FaceTime for the short term. The good news is technically you're not vulnerable to this anymore because they've disabled the group capability. You should expect Apple to fix it in a few weeks or so, and I'd really recommend you getting that patch when it comes out. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching. All right.